Hi, this is Batania from Team Genius, continuing with video two on the assessment setup guide. If you did not watch video one, please go and check that out for tips on how to complete your scoring forms, your player pools on in your evaluation schedule. In this video, we're going to talk about how to add players and how to check those in. So first things first, let's navigate to the add players button here, or you can also click on players and add players. Either option will take you to the screen where you can add players from a CSV file. If you are planning to sync your players, we do have an integration with Sports Engine and TeamSnap. You also have the option to add players from Team Genius teams if you are doing an in-season assessment and already have your team set up in Team Genius. Most common way that we see is via a CSV file. So if we click on that option, you'll be able to select your CSV file. You can also drag it here. You'll see a preview of your file. From there, you can hit continue. And then here you can map the columns into the appropriate areas in Team Genius. We do recommend first name and last name. Um, those are actually required fields. Uh, other recommended fields are birth date and also uh, the email if you wanted to send out any reports. Birth date will help if you happen to have two players with the same first and last name. It will default to birth date to determine if that's a different person. If you hit the X button here, that means that field will be unmapped. If you wanted to already have your player pools um, mapped into the system instead of setting those up separately under the player pool section, if you map your age groups in this example uh, to player pool, it will create these pools for you and have everybody assigned. Once you hit use these mappings, you will see if you have any errors to speak of. If not, just hit save players and that will start the import process. If we go to import history, we could actually see when we started our imports, the status of that import, how many players were updated, restored, and then the total number as well. Also created if you have any new players that you are adding. From there, if all of our players have been imported, we'll go to player check-in. We can see that from our import file, we did import the player number, so we have that already assigned here, but the player pool is unassigned. So in this scenario, these players will not be showing up in the app quite yet. They do need a player pool assignment, and they also need a number assignment to show up in the app for a tryout style assessment. So if these first few players here are going to be in the same pool, I can select those players, update their assignments here, and then move them into the right pool. Same thing for these other players. Let's just make sure that they are in the right pool. And you're noticing that all of these players are now in this green hue, indicating that they are ready to be checked in or they are ready to be evaluated in the app. So they are officially checked in. If you might not have had player numbers in place already, if that was not something that you imported, most likely you'll be seeing something kind of like this where you'll have the player pool assignment, but you will not have a number assignment. In that scenario, if you are assigning numbers the day of check-in, you can search that player in the search box. You could also filter by player pool to make it a bit easier. Once you find the player that you need to check in, you can then click on the assignment box here and then add in their player number. If you needed to adjust any player info, you can do that at this time in addition to any custom fields that you might be gathering. Once you hit save and close, we can now see that player, instead of being in a yellow hue, they are in a green hue, indicating that they are ready to be evaluated by your evaluators and should be available in the app at this point. If you have any walk-up players, you can click on the green Add Player button here from your check-in page to add in your player's information and their assignments here before hit Save and Close for them to appear inside of the app. If you have any questions, let us know. Video three is coming, so stay tuned for that on next steps for evaluating players.